Okay, this is the 6-1 to 6-3 review. Calculators are allowed and looks like we're going to be using the calculators quite a bit in this one. This says, what's the area of the region in the first quadrant enclosed by the following curves? So I'm going to go into my Y editor and I'm going to put those curves in there. So I have a cosine of a 3x and I have a y equals x and then I've got the y axis which is x equals 0 and I'm going to graph those so I'll just do a standard zoom 6 mm, that's not very good can't really see much we'll adjust our window after we see okay it looks like the region is going to be pretty concentrated in here so I'm going to go change my window to oh I don't know negative point to 2 let's say and the y max is in mins I'll go negative 0.2 up to 2 because we really just need to look in that one little corner of quadrant 1 so if I graph now you can see there's my cosine graph there's my y equals x and we want the y axis. Oh, I put in x equals 0 or y equals 0 instead of x equals 0. So anyway, this is the region we're working with right here. So we're going to need that point, which is our intersection point, and we're going to be accumulating in here. So let's draw the little picture off to the side here. We have that cosine curve, we have the y equals x, and we have the y axis. So here's the region we're working with, and I'm going to choose to cut vertically. The reason I want to cut vertically is because number one, I've already got y's isolated, and number two, I'll only have to use one integral if I set it up that way. If I cut horizontally, then this intersection would cut me cut the region into two and I'd have to use two integrals which I'm not real interested in doing so that means we're going to set up the length of that strip so I am doing area yes x coordinates are shared the y coordinate comes from the curve that it's on so the length of that strip is going to be cosine of 3x which is the top y coordinate minus x which is the bottom y coordinate times the thickness which is dx and now we need to know how far left and right we're going to go so that's going to be from 0 to whatever that intersection point is so we're going to find that intersection and then use it so here's our setup we need to find that xc so over here on the calculator I will do an f5 intersection first curve second curve lower bound would be 0 upper bound looks like it's going to be 1.5 let's say and we found our XC is 0 0.39004 whatever so we need to use that XC in our integral so go back to your home screen and we're going to integrate I think I had the cosine in Y1 so I can do Y1 of X minus Y2 of X with respect to x from 0 to that x alpha c. Diamond enter and we end up with 0 0.230 or 0 0.231 whichever you want to do. So let's look at the next one, same process. We want to graph it first, see what that region is and then set up the integral for the area. So I'm going to go into my Y editor, clear out what's in there. Got the tangent inverse of X plus 1. I've got 2X and I've got the Y axis so let's just see what happens with the window that I already have set see if we can see anything there's our tangent and here comes our Y equals 2x oh very nice we have our intersection already we don't need to adjust our window again so the region that we're looking at is this one right here so I'm gonna come back to my paper and draw that general shape Yeah. 
and we're going to do a vertical strip again because I've got Y isolated in both curves and I only want to do one integral setup. I'd have to do more if I didn't. So X coordinate is the same on both and the Y coordinate comes from the curves that you're on. We can see that we're going from 0, 0 up to whatever that X coordinate is. So my integral setup, I'll just do it underneath here so you can see to calculate at the same time. My integral setup, since I'm looking for the area, will be the length of that strip, which is the top curve minus the bottom curve, Y coordinates, times the thickness, which is DX, and my limits will be as far left as I can go, which is zero, and as far right, which is XC. So again, I'm going to have to find that intersection. And first curve, second curve, I'll move to the left, move to the right. Got my XC now, so if I go to my home screen, notice I still have Y1 and Y2 in there, so I've still, I've changed Y1 and Y2 to reflect this problem, so I can just leave it as is and do diamond enter and get my next answer, which is 0.454. etc. Okay, last one. We're going to do the same thing. We need to go to our calculators and let's put the first curve in Y1, the second curve in Y2. First one is the opposite of sine of 2x minus 1. The next one is 3x and I think I only went up to 2 so it might work. Let's try the window that we already have my sign. Here comes my y equals 3x. And I can see it. It's a little crowded, but it's close enough that I can draw the region on my paper. So I'll draw that region. I've got a sign that's been shifted a little bit. And I've got y equals 3x. So here's my region. Again, we got a 0, 0. Don't really care what that one is because we're not going to use it because we're cutting vertically. And when we cut vertically, we just need to know the left and right boundaries of that region. So the bottom one comes from the bottom curve. The top one comes from the top curve. The length of that strip is the top Y coordinate minus the bottom Y coordinate. So if I want the area, I will accumulate that top y coordinate minus the bottom y coordinate times the width which is dx and I need to start that accumulation at 0 and end the accumulation at xc. So again back on the calculator f5 5 to find the intersection enter for the curves lower bound is 0 upper bound I can put in a 1 and I get an XC of 0.192. So on the home screen, I need to take the top curve minus the bottom curve times DX or integrate Y1 minus Y2 with respect to X from 0 to that XC. Hit enter and we get 0 0.082651, which is our answer. And we're done.